to two Americas where we show you the America you know or might not know. Tonight, finding solutions to get rid of those forever chemicals in our water. The Environmental Protection Agency found these chemicals do not break down in our environment. Julia Fellow shows us how one Milwaukee scientist may have found a natural way to get rid of a synthetic chemical compound that is found in water all around the world. It is a chemical so small you cannot see it without a microscope. And over decades, chemist Junji News says the pollutant has seeped into our water. Into the groundwater. Yeah, yeah. If, if there is a well, some people use a well to drink, right? So then they can penetrate to the, after like uh, 50 years, they can penetrate into the well, then you drink it again. The man-made molecules in our lakes, rivers, and streams is called per and polyfluoro alcohol substances, or PFAS. The Environmental Protection Agency requires your drinking water to not have PFAS over a certain level, but it is still unavoidable. What can PFAS do to my body? It can cause some diseases like a cancer or some other very rare diseases, especially for the, for the baby, for the young people. The man-made chemical was commonly used for decades in stain-resistant, waterproof and nonstick products and foam used by firefighters to smother aircraft fires. News says PFAS near Mitchell International Airport are extremely high. They are not uh, uh, degraded in the nature. Even after hundreds of years, they still exist in the soil or in the, in the, in the water. That is one of the areas his team at UW-Milwaukee's School of Freshwater Sciences are trying to clean up. Over the past year, news says they narrowed down specific bacteria found naturally in our soil that can eat up PFAS like dinner. So there's not just one bacteria you found, but three that could eat three up... Three different type of bacteria. That could absorb and eat up the PFAS. Yes. The other location where they collected soil is right outside this scrapyard in the Harbor District, right next to the Kinnikinnick River and Lake Michigan. They found in their lab experiments using those three isolated bacterias that they could remove up to 70% of PFAS in two weeks. As for which bacteria are working, he won't say. We found uh, three different type of bacteria. Ah, so these are the three different yes, ones. Yes, three different ones. The next step is to see if this works outside the lab. If it does, he plans to share with everyone so that one day this forever chemical found all over the world will disappear. Julia Fellow, TMG4 News. And in Madison, leaders want to spend a half million dollars to design a special filtration system just for one city well. And officials in Whitewater claim a test of their drinking water yesterday detected no PFAS at all.